Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Another beautiful night here in Carlsbad, California. This is kind of the nicest part of the year around here. And we were beyond the June gloom and now we're just getting into sunshine. Very mild temperatures, doesn't get too warm in a day and doesn't get too, uh, doesn't be, it's not humid at all. And it doesn't get too hot at night either. So a really nice time to visit Carlsbad, California. But my name is Kent and this uh, video is about blockchain not about uh, travel, but Carlsbad's a nice place to come visit if you ever get here. And please look me up if you do. I've had a few people do that, so I appreciate that. So anyway, what I wanna talk about tonight is I wanna talk about, obviously, the blockchain, and I wanna talk about how the blockchain right now is actually underperforming as far as a lot of people are concerned, including myself. But I just wanna let you know that the blockchain is our only hope. Our only hope for a prosperous future for most people. There's a lot of people that have a very grim outlook for the future. I mean, I, I've been listening to people like Max Kaiser uh, for a long time. I like Max Kaiser, he's kind of a funny guy. He's on RT Network and he's been around for a long, long time. And uh, he tells it like it is as far as the bank's concerned. But he always has a grim future. Like he feels like in the future that there's going to be, uh, if you have a certain amount of money, you're gonna be able to live on an island you're gonna have your own compound and everybody else is gonna be kind of fighting for scraps. And that's the way the future will play out. Uh, people like Donald Trump will be very wealthy, secure, and have a uh, great existence. Uh, the ordinary everyday person is probably gonna be struggling to have a house, food to eat, and a job, and uh, some sort of existence. That's what he says, and he's not the only one to say it. There's a lot of people to say that, a lot of people. I could go on and on about the people that are, are expecting a coming doom, a coming crash for the United States, a, a coming time of um, you know complete disaster and most people are hard, gonna have a hard time even making out, eking out a, a, a meager existence. I don't wanna be that pessimistic. I'd like to think that we have a bright future ahead and I'd like to think that things are gonna be much brighter in the future than they have been in the past. But the only way for that to occur is with the blockchain. There's nothing else to take its place. Uh, if blockchain doesn't work out, then I see economic futures very, very grim and dismal. Blockchain works out, I see technology coming to the rescue for billions of people around the earth, bringing billions of people into the system, bringing billions of people to the banking system and into the, the, the system of trade and commerce. Without the blockchain, we are we're going back to a feudal system where there will be a few lords over everybody else. It'll be nothing but, um, you know, people that are very, very meager, hard to make a living kind of people. You know, worse than uh, uh, tenants would be more like uh, basically uh, slaves to the system to try to keep the, the people that are up in the higher positions and the higher positions. And the rest of the people are just going to be trying to uh, get an existence, have an existence. But I think technology will change that, and I think blockchain will change that. And that's why we have to be patient on blockchain. We have to be patient for this to work out. There's no other way to go. Um, there's no place else to run. There's no other system to take its place. This is it. So whatever happens with blockchain today, we have to be patient and let the time it takes to mature for people to understand it, for it to grow and to do the things that we hope it does, that we know it will do to improve everybody's lives. And one of the things that I know blockchain will do in the future is, that's one of the things that we're working on with the challenge application, is a geolocation. Putting location on the blockchain. Putting putting things on the blockchain, putting location on the blockchain. Right now, geolocation means satellite. So satellite is, they're in the sky and through triangulation, are able to identify things and where they're at and, and everything is running on, on satellite right now. But in the future, I believe that things can also be running on blockchain as far as location is concerned. So, so location can not only be satellite, but can also be uh, location on the blockchain. With the blockchain being able to identify people or things or assets, and then through the smart contracts to be able to identify them and location uh, by maybe having a way for them to uh, give some information to the blockchain and then identifying where they're at. This is kind of what we do with the the, the uh, with the uh, uh, challenged app. I mean, right now we're, we're we're going to run it off of satellites, 
geolocation with, uh, with the Google satellites. But in the future, we'd like to run it from blockchain, where all geolocations will be done on the blockchain. This will help improve location, locating everything, you know, make uh, geolocation much, uh, much safer, uh, much more dependable, and it will make things uh, a lot easier for everybody. Geolocation on the blockchain, that's what I think is gonna happen in the future. So this, these are the kind of technologies that will bring everybody up to a level of existence, not where we have a few that take over and kind of, you know, everybody else gets cut out. But technologies like geolocation on the blockchain, technologies like being able to uh, exchange money back and forth through cryptocurrencies, and also the ability to, for people to be in a banking system and be able to borrow, be able to finance, and be able to trade in a, in a world without uh, regulations and regulators, or in a world without people with a lot of money, trying to keep people with a lot out money out of the system. And that's what we have today. So whatever it takes, it takes. The time it takes for this to build and develop and generate will be what we need. That's the only, only course of action we have as individual people that, that are looking for a way to better their lives. Individual people around the world looking for ways to better their life is the blockchain blockchain technology. That's all, that's our only hope. I appreciate you watching, thank you very much.